good morning students and welcome to today's maths class so in the previous class we studied about addition and subtraction of large numbers right so we started with the second chapter basic operation on numbers and we did addition and subtraction of large numbers so how do you do addition of large numbers first you arrange the given numbers vertically one below the other according to their place value then you start adding them column wise starting from the ones place so first you add the ones place then tens hundreds thousands and so on up till the last place all right and then you see wherever regrouping is required that is wherever when you add uh, digits in one place and you get a number greater than nine or a two digit number then you regroup it to the next place okay so then you add all the numbers regroup them and then finally get an answer okay so this is how you do addition of large numbers so we saw two examples on addition of large numbers correct then we saw what is subtraction of large numbers so when you're doing subtraction what you do first step is the same first you write the numbers in their vertical form in the columns according to their place values then you always write the larger number above the smaller number first you write the larger number then you write the smaller number the larger number here is called the minuend the smaller number is called the subtrahend and when you subtract the two numbers you get your difference now when you're doing subtraction sometimes what happens you have a, a smaller digit in the above number that is you have to subtract a larger number from a smaller number which you cannot do so what you do is you borrow one from the next place okay you borrow one from the next place and then subtract okay so this is one example which we saw on subtraction of large numbers okay so it's a various example on subtraction of large numbers also in addition the numbers that are being added are called addends addends and then okay i'll just write the spelling for you all they are called addends okay and the numbers which you're adding are called addends and the answer that you get or the result that you get is called a sum or a total all right and here the in subtraction the larger number is called the minuend the smaller number is called the subtrahend and the result you get is called the difference okay so now we are going to study about multiplication what is multiplication multiplication is defined as to calculate the result of repeated additions of two numbers now for example uh, you're adding two five times two plus two plus two plus two plus two so that gives you a 10 so instead of doing that addition repeatedly for five times what you can just do is you can multiply now you're adding two five times so instead of adding it two five times what you'll do you'll just do two into five okay so you'll just multiply how many times you're adding the number with two so that you'll get two into five ten so multiplication is nothing but it is repeated addition okay so you all have apparently learned a box method and column method in fourth standard now for large multiplication of larger numbers column method is more useful so we'll focus on the column method okay so let's see a few examples on that first example here i've taken is 6408 into 40 one okay so 6408 into 41 now these two numbers that you're multiplying are called factors what are they called they are called factors and the answer here you get is called the product so first what you'll do is in the first step you'll multiply the first number the, or the larger number with now see here 6408 into 41 correct so this 41 will split it as ones and tens so in one place we have 10 and 4 place value 4 is 40 correct so first we'll multiply with 1 so 6408 into 1 so you know anything multiplied by 1 will be the number itself so 6408 into 1 will be 6408 itself then step number 2 6408 into 40 why 40 because 4 is in tens place its value is 40 okay so when you multiply 6408 into 40 now it's quite easy what you can do is in 40 there is one zero right so you can write that one zero at the end and then multiply four with the digits so four eight that's 32 
then you'll carry over three four zeros are will be zero only anything multiplied with four a zero is zero itself okay so four zeros are zero then there's a three carry over so we'll write down three then four fours are 16 and four six are 24 so plus 125 so you'll have 2,56,320 okay now once you get these numbers what you'll do is you'll add them okay once you finish multiplication you'll add the numbers so you'll add 6,408 plus 2,56,320 so when you add them you'll get the answer as 2,62,728 now here if you see this table of or column like thing this is how you do multiplication in column method so first you write all the numbers in their place values then you multiply so first here they are multiplied with one okay you got six four zero eight then they have multiplied the number with 40 okay so you write a zero here under one's place and then multiply the number with four and then you add the two numbers you'll get your answer okay so this is how you do multiplication Okay, so this was one example let's see another example now here what they have told is not only to find the product but also to verify using uh, digit sum method so we'll see what is the digit sum method later first we'll see uh, how what how to multiply 349 into 526 so when you multiply 349 into 526 so both are three digit numbers so first what we'll do is 349 into the ones place of 526 which is 6 so 349 into 6 so when i do 349 into 6 i will get 2094 correct i get 2094 here also if you write it in column wise here you get like this 2094 then th next place is 2 so 2 is in tens place so that will be 20 so 349 into 20 so when you multiply that you'll get 6980 okay you get 6980 then 349 into 500 because 5 is in hundreds place so when you multiply that you'll get 174500 see so we have written all the numbers in columns like this now what you'll do you'll add the numbers so when you add these three numbers that you've got after multiplication you'll get the answer as 1,83,574 okay so the product is 1,83,574 now to verify if your answer is correct okay here they've given a method called uh, digit sum method so what is digit sum method so here in the first factor 349 first you'll find the digit sum of it what is the meaning of digit sum 349 there are three digits right three four and nine so you'll add all the three digits so three plus four plus nine now you'll add them till you get a one digit number so three plus four plus nine gives you 16 now that 16 again you'll add those digits so that is one plus six okay so we added 3 plus 4 plus 9 first right and then we added 1 plus 6 so how much is 1 plus 6 1 plus 6 is 7 okay so we found the digit sum of 349 now we'll find the digit sum of 526 so that is 5 plus 2 plus 6 so 5 plus 2 plus 6 is 13 okay now now what we'll do this 13 will add as 1 plus three so that one plus three you get as four okay so the digit sum of 349 is seven 526 is four now product of digit sums now you found the digit sum of these factors now you will find the product of it okay so product of it means seven into four which is 28 okay you got 28 now this 28 again you add the digits 2 plus 8 which is equal to 10 now 10 here again is a two digit number so you will add these two digits 1 plus 0 is 1 okay 1 plus 0 is 1 digit sum of product now this is your product 1,83,574 so you will add all the digits there okay 1 plus 8 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4 okay so you got 28 now this 28 you add as 2 plus 8 you'll get 10 then when you add 10 1 plus 0 you get 1 
okay so first what you'll do first you'll find the digit sum of both the factors then the digit sum what you got you'll multiply that and that product what is that you'll find the digit sum of that product okay then the uh, okay so you find the product of the digit sums and then you find the digit sum of the product so the product what is there okay your main answer which is there you'll find the digit sum of it and then what you'll do is now if you see observe here the product of digit sums and the digit sum of product are both equal see so here as the digit sum of the product is equal to product of digit sums the answer is verified okay both are one so that means uh, both are equal to one which means your answer is right okay and this is how you do verification using digit sum method you just need to remember the four different steps okay now another example here 3 3248 into 714 okay so now first what you do first you multiply the number with 4 okay that is from 714 we'll multiply it with 4 you'll get 12992 then 3248 into 10 because 1 is there in tens place we multiply it with 10 we get 32480 then 3248 into 700 okay so we'll multiply seven, because 7 is in hundreds place we'll multiply it by 700 you get 22,73,600 so you got these three numbers now what we do we add the numbers and get our final answer which is 23,19,072 so this is how you do multiplication of large numbers now what we'll do is we'll see some problems from your textbook so page number 99 in your textbooks exercise 2.2 so they have given you a few problems here which you have to uh, find the products okay so they have given you these problems let do let's do these problems first and then we will see what to do for homework now here we have a b c d e and f now since i cannot solve it here i'll solve it somewhere else and we'll see the problems okay uh, as we are solving you can copy the uh, answers in your books in your notebooks all right so exercise 2.2 find the product first one what is the first question it is 1248 into 63 so now what we do first we'll multiply 1248 with 3 which is in ones place so when you multiply 1248 with 3 you get 3744 so you get 3744 so you know 3 8 is 24 Correct, 3 8 is 24. So you write down 4 and carry over 2 here, and then 3 4s are 12. So 12 plus 2 is 14. So carry over 1, then 3 2s are 6, 6 plus 1 7, and 3 1s is 3. So 3 7 4 4. Then once you multiply it with 3, now what is left? 60 is left. 6 is in tens place. So we multiply 1248 with 60. So when you multiply it with 60, you get the answer as 7, 74,880. Okay, so when you get these, now what we'll do is we'll add the numbers. So adding the numbers, 4 plus 0 is 4. Then 4 plus 8 is 12. So you write down 2 and carry over 1 to the next place. Okay. I have not shown carry over here, but when you are writing, you can show the carry over parts. Okay. Then 4 plus 8 is 12. So we write 2 and carry over 1. And then 7 plus 1 is 8, and 8 plus 8 is 16. So we write down 6 and carry over 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. So 8, and then you write 7 as it is. So 78,624. So the product of 1248 into 63 is. 78,624. Okay, so this was first question in your textbooks. Now moving on to the second question 275 into 348. Now both here are three digit numbers, right? So 275 into 348. So first write them in their place values, then you multiply 275 with 
8 first. Okay. And when you multiply 275 with 8, you get 2200. What do you get? You get 2200. Then we'll multiply 275 with 40. 4 is in tens place. So you multiply it with 40. So when you multiply it with 40, you'll get 11,000. Okay, so your 8 fives are 40. So we carry over 4. Okay, so you write down all the carryovers when you're solving it in your books. I've just shown you all the steps and the answers. 275 into 40 gives you 11,000. Then you'll multiply 275 with 300. 3 is in hundreds place. So we'll multiply it with 300. So when you multiply, you'll get 82,500. You get 82,500. Now what you do, you add all the three numbers. So when you add all the numbers, 2200 plus 11,000 plus 82,500, you'll get 95,700. So this was the answer for question number B. Okay, so now question C, 729 into 305. Now 729, the first step is you will multiply it with 5. So 729 into 5 will be 3640. 5 okay 3645 now we multiply next with the next digit in th tens place tens place here is 0 so 729 into 0 anything multiplied by 0 will be 0 only so 729 into 0 is 0 okay then 729 into 300 in hundreds place we have 3 so we'll multiply it with 300 so when you multiply the two numbers you'll get 2 lakh 18000 700 then when you add the three numbers 3645 plus 0 plus 2 like 18700 when you add them you will get 2 lakh 22345 so this is your answer for question c now moving on to question number d now in d we have 6705 into 437 correct so how what we'll do here is first we'll multiply 605 into 7 so when you do that you get 46,935 so multiplying it you get 46,935 then step 2 you will multiply 6705 with 30 okay so when you multiply it with 30 you get 2 lakh 1150 then in the next step you'll multiply it with 400 4 being in hundreds place so when you multiply you'll get 26000 26 lakhs 82000 okay and now we'll add all the three numbers so when you add all the three numbers or the products you've got you'll get 29 lakhs 30085 so the answer for question number d is 29 lakhs 30085 okay so i hope you are understanding how to do multiplication it's quite similar to multiplying with two digit numbers okay now uh, last question 5263 into sorry this is not the last question and there's one more so 5263 into 308 so now first we'll multiply it with 8 so 5263 into 8 you'll get 42104 right then 5 2 6 3 into 0 now i as i told you anything multiplied by 0 will be a 0 only then 5 2 6 3 into 300 you'll get 15 lakh 78 thousand nine hundred so when you add 15 lakh 78 thousand nine hundred to 48 two thousand one hundred and four you'll get 16 uh, 16 lakhs 21 thousand and four okay so that is your answer for question number e now moving on to the last question 535 into 516 so first we'll multiply 535 with 6 so when you do that you get 3210 okay you get 3210 then we'll multiply 535 with 10 so when you multiply it with 10 you'll get 5350 now what we'll do we'll move on to the hundredth place in hundredth place we have five so we multiply 535 with 500 so when you multiply you got 2 lakh 67 500 correct so now we'll add 3210 
5350 plus 267500 so when you add that you'll get 276060 so the answer for question f is 276060 okay so this is how you do multiplication so see now uh, the last two questions that they have given g and h they have given it for at home means you have to do it for homework so complete all these questions which i have done in your books and then solve these two for your homework that is g and h so all these questions for your homework and i'll give you the answers for these in the next class all right students i'll see you next week again thank you